Okay, so I think we ended off my last video with a crash because of arm bolts missing. Um, I did end up breaking an arm. wasn't the one that came off. I broke a different arm, and it broke the top plate. I spent all that night, or actually, I think it was the next morning. I can't remember. It's been a while fixing it. I put, replaced all. All it broke was frame parts, so I fixed all the frame parts. Charged all my batteries, went out to fly the next day, I took off, and this happened. <laughs> then, I clipped that pole, and oh, this is actually the second time this has happened to me with KISS V2. And both times I clicked the metal object, but it killed the FC and it killed all four EECs all at one time. Entire electronics is just dead. So, I haven't flown since that day. I, I got so pissed off. <laughs> I, I put everything up, I just packed shit up, and, and I guess I was, in my mind I was done. I don't know. I, I, but, I went back to, I'm going back to school to get a filming degree that's underway as we speak and now uh i'm gonna start pushing to get to do just video things but anyway so because of that i ain't got much money because yeah so to get a quad up in the air what i've done is i took the arms motors escs and v1 flight controller off of my first ever build that i haven't flown in well over a year i retired it because it was sentimental and i didn't want to break it or lose it and this happened after the last time i flew it it got stuck in a tree overnight and uh i didn't think i was gonna get it down but got it down and i retired it i haven't flown it since anyway there's no chance of me being able to getting any new parts at the moment so this is my only option so i dismantled it so i'm back to on v1 kiss v1 24 amp esc steel v1 motors other than that everything else is the same off the original quad which everything was the same anyway except for the other quad wasn't crossfire uh anyway so yeah uh, i'm gonna go fly v1 there's still stock pids is how i flew it then because i didn't know how to tune i don't really know how to tune now i'm gonna have to learn god know for a fact this don't fly good as v2 because i remember the first time i flew v2 i was like fuck v1 on there fly v1 again and that lasted for about a week until i destroyed my v2 quad and then had to go back to this one for a few months anyway uh which was the first time i crashed i mean destroyed the fc and escs all in one go just one little i love kiss it flies so good it there's things about it that it can do that beta fly cannot like for instance the steel throttle cut I uh, only ever use it that way I don't use air mode that's what I do and I don't know I have literally have beta flight stuff in the house that I was gonna think about putting in the quad and instead I chose to v1 it so I don't know I'm gonna fly around my house and I for one, test it out, make sure everything still works. I mean, I armed it and whatnot, but I haven't flown it yet. I haven't put props on it yet. Obviously, there's no props. Anyway, probably getting tired of me yakking. So, I'm going to throw some props on it and uh, get this bird in the air and see what happens. Hopefully, it don't look like complete trash. <laughs> That was the second pack. First pack was just trash. Alright, so 
Besides the fact it was these tuned beyond belief. Uh, the rates were weird. Um, I know this my the rates on the V1 board were different than what my V2 rates were. So I just put the V2 rates in there thinking I just slowly adjusted my rates over the last year, which I know I have. Um, and those just felt not right at all. So after that flight, I flew a few more batteries, adjusted the rates, tuned it just slightly. I'm not, I am not very good at tuning. Anyway, I tuned it slightly. It's feeling, it's feeling better definitely better than it was but it's still not v2 it's still i don't know it has a i don't know how to explain it it's not as smooth it feels beta flight ish <laughs> uh which i actually expected but it's d shot 600 it's a d shot 2400 and i don't care who says what you can tell the difference i can tell the difference uh anyway so i gotta find all right -ish. I'll probably keep adjusting them here and there as I go, but anyway, so yeah, back to V1 is working. At least I can fly again. That's what matters. So, woo. So y'all enjoy the rest of the video. So I'll try to get some more flying footage for you. At least I have to take off from right here and just destroy it again. Then there won't be more flying footage in this will be the end of the video. So either enjoy it or see y'all next time. Later. From Montgomery, had a guitar on my back. Stranger stopped beside me in an antique Cadillac. He was dressed like 1950, half drunk and hollow eyed. Says a long walk to Nashville, do you like a ride? Sat down in that front seat, turned on the radio. Them sad old songs coming out, them speakers was solid country gold. Yeah, I noticed a stranger had a ghost white pair when he asked me for a light. Yeah, I knew there was something strange about this ride. Said, Drifter, can you make folks proud when you play and sing? Have you paid your dues? Can you mourn the blues? Can you bend them guitar strings? Said, boy, can you make folks feel what you feel inside? Cause if you big stop man, let me warn you, it's a long hard ride. Cry just south of Nashville, turn that car around. Said, boy, that's where you get off. I'm going back to Alabama As I stepped out of that Cadillac Said Mr. Many Thanks Said you don't have to call me Mr. Mister Whole world calls me hey Said Drifter can you make folks cry when you play and sing Have you paid your dues? Can you mourn the blues? Can you bend them guitar strings? like and subscribe and comment and smash that bell button on this man's channel because he's the man he's trying to inspire he's trying to change the world one quad pack at a time yes me.